this is a book about boys' bodies. It's also about sport and health and physical activity and the way in which sport um, plays a significant role in the construction of masculinity, but the way in which also that masculinity plays a role in the types of sport and the health and physical activity outcomes for boys. Um, it's based on a longitudinal study that I did with uh, boys from the age of five uh, through to around the age of 12 to 13 years of age. So looking from that early childhood through to, through to adolescence, I clearly found that throughout, the, uh, throughout this book that the parents played a significant role in the types of sports that these boys engaged in. These boys, when they were young, thought that being involved in the traditional masculinized sports such as as football and rugby were very important because they were they termed them blood sports um, and blood sports were clearly important for these young males in terms of identifying themselves as being a man they, were, they also recognized that that their body was not suited to certain types of sports so for example they desperately wanted to be a basketballer but some of the boys would never grow, you know, to six foot. Um, and really, to be a basketballer these days, you need to be six foot five, six foot six and beyond. They would then get involved in, in other sports like swimming and, um, and tennis and so forth. And they actually found that they were good at them. And, you know, and success is an important part of how we feel about ourselves. You, you need to have a passion for what you do. Um, you can be the most outstanding um, sports person in a sport but not enjoy it so why would you do it? There's been some classic examples over time. Andre Agassi says he hated tennis and yet it was his father who played a significant role in him being a tennis player. It's really important that people have an understanding that boys can be engaged in a range of sports and physical activities and um, that we need to embrace difference.